Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's Friday, you guys. End of the work week. <clears throat> Ooh, y'all, y'all gotta excuse me this morning. I am not feeling well today, you guys. Um, like I told you guys, I don't know if you um, are new to my channel or you haven't really watched some of my videos, but um, I have degenerative arthritis and I suffer from, you know, a lot of chronic pain. And today is one of those days that I'm just not feeling it. So, y'all, I'm not looking all the best today because I'm, <clears throat> I'm just not feeling it this morning. Um, I have to take my mom to her doctor's appointment this morning. So, I woke up really late. So, I kind of rushed out the house. And y'all really didn't do nothing to my hair. I just pulled it back in the ponytail and mob on out. So, I just want to say good morning to everyone. Good morning, good morning. Or if you see in this video later in the day, good day to you, okay? Um, I hope everybody that sees this video has a really good day. I'm gonna try to have one. My morning didn't start off so well, but hopefully the day ends much, much better. And you know, that's what we all can hope, you guys. Um, yeah, I had a job um, right before I had my knee surgeries. I was there for mm, three years. Three, yeah, three years. And y'all, when I tell y'all had the supervisor or manager from hell, Lord, that woman was a horrible person, okay? She believed in micromanaging, and I had never dealt with that type of managing style. You know, I've always been the type of person where anything that I do, I want to try my best at or be my best at it. Um, I have a very good work ethic. You know, I'm I'm one, honey, I get up and go to work every day. Pain, sick. I mean, I got to be really sick not to go to work, okay? So, but this lady, she was just, like, she had some issues. Y'all ever dealt with somebody that you could tell they got personal problems at home and they come to the job and take them out on the people around them because they can't take them out on, on pe with the people they live with? Well, this was her. And I don't know, y'all, she just had this thing for me. She always, I'm going to call it pick. And you might say, oh, picking? Tasha, you a grown woman. Well, child, I don't know how else to explain it, but that's how I felt. Like, it was everything I did, she had something to say about it. Like, everything. And um, with my job, I could work from home. So, I used to work from home two days a week. I used to work from home on Mondays and Fridays. Child, she did. Now, that, I did that before she became the manager of our, our department. Child, when she became the manager of the department... And she changed all that. She made everybody come into the office. Um, she basically said, you're going to have to earn the privilege to work from home based off her merits. Oh, y'all, she was a mess. So, I, I, at, it became to the point, y'all, I would go to work like super, like with a lot of anxiety. Because I would, I'm walking through the parking lot thinking, oh, God, I hope this woman is in a good mood. Can you imagine going through that for two years? Because I worked there for the first year, she wasn't our manager, and then the manager that we had quit, went to another job, and then she became the manager. We had some, like, interim managers, and then she became the, the main manager of our department. Y'all, when I tell you, that woman was a nightmare. But you know what? She taught me a lot. She taught me a lot. Again, you guys, I try to find some positive in the negative events in my life. And although that woman was a severe negative event in my life, I found some positives out of it. It helped me learn how to deal with people with her type of personality, you know. Um, and it also taught me some things for, you know, with jobs moving forward on the type of information you share with people that you work with. Um, like, you have to be real careful with that, you guys, because you, you're you sharing things with your coworkers. Because for a lot of us, you know, we, shoot, we see the people we work with more than the people we live with, you know. Especially for people who do do a lot of overtime on their job and stuff like that. So you start building uh, a rapport with the people that you work with. Um, you know, comfortability. Um, and, you know, you you confide in people. I ain't going to say, okay, so let me take that back. Not really confide, but you, you know, you talk. Honey, that woman took everything you said and she would from some way somehow figure out a way to use it against you. It, it was horrible. It was horrible, horrible, horrible. 
So anyway, you guys, I, I pray I never have to go through that again. And I always told myself, if I was, when I become a business owner and have people working up under me, I'm not going to treat people like that. Like, I'm going to trust that you're going to come to this job and do what you were, you are paid to do, what you were hired to do. And when I see that you're not fulfilling that expectation, then we, I'm going to deal with you accordingly. You know, I'm going to deal with you, deal, deal with each person on an individual basis. She didn't do that, y'all. She just wrote, she, she had a lot of trust issues. And she said that to us one time in a meeting. She says, I have trust issues. I don't think it to myself. Well, child, ain't nobody trying to lay in the bed with you. Like, you got trust, trust issues with your husband. Because, child, I ain't trying to get intimate with you in that type of way. So. Yeah, y'all, that lady was something. Yeah, she was something else. But anyway, y'all, that's my little my little spiel this morning. So I'm going to just tell y'all, if y'all dealing with somebody like that, a, a, a person, a manager, a supervisor that has that micromanaging style of managing people or supervising people, baby, stay prayed up, okay? Just try not to, try not to feed into the negativity. Because do understand, at the end of the day, that's your job. That's how you pay your bills. And don't let nobody stop you from getting your bag. Because guess what? You, she, <clears throat> him, he or she can do something to, you know, make you so upset that you want to quit your job. But they still making their money. And you out here trying to find another one. So, only the strongest survive. So I encourage each and every person that's going through that situation, baby, stay strong. And do understand evil does not always prevail. All right, y'all. Okay, so really quick. Yesterday, um, in my video, I've been reading my comments. I haven't been able to get all to all my comments back, but I will get back to you guys by the end of the end of the day. Um, I made a statement about you know, my true supporters and me not knowing who exactly who they are. You, you, the true supporter know who you are. And, um, based off the comments, I think I offended a couple people and look, y'all, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I look, it's my statement. Wasn't me trying to be personable because again, you guys, I mean, we, we all know, I don't know anybody personally. Right. So I'm not trying to do have personal attacks against people. Um, I was just, that was just a statement that I was making. I didn't mean anything. I Like I said, y'all, I do understand I have people that's been with me since I first started my channel, and I appreciate that. But again, I'm not telling anybody who they can watch, what they can look at, what chat room they can go to, what chat room they can't go to. Yeah, that's not my job, baby. And first and foremost, I'm not everywhere on YouTube, so I don't know what everybody is doing, and neither do I care. I don't care, you know, y'all. I mean... It's a free country, child. So, again, if I offended anyone, it was never my intention to offend anyone. I know you guys don't know me personally, but you sh if you've been watching me long enough, you should be able to kind of figure out that I'm just not that type of person, right? I was just merely trying to make a statement by just saying, I, I don't know everybody who subscribed to me. So, if you are a true supporter, unless you tell me that, I don't know. But even being a true supporter, baby, Watch what you want to watch. Indulge in what you want to indulge in. TMR, do not take it personally. I do understand there's, you know, it's freedom of speech. You're free to roam on, to whatever YouTube channel that you want to, okay? All right. I hope everybody understand that, okay? So, <clears throat> y'all, really quick. So, let me explain something to y'all. As you know... And you, a lot of you content creators, or and even the subscribers and viewers who've heard content creators discuss this, YouTube is making a lot of changes. They have um, the Federal Trade Commission find it YouTube or Google a very large sum of money, like an extremely large sum of money. It was like a hundred and sixty million dollars, I believe, for some um, for some laws that they feel like. Google broke and they need to be penalized for that you guys it's like it's like one of the biggest penalties ever and um 
because you or Google, I'm gonna say Google, because you know Google owns YouTube. Because YouTube had to pay that price. The effects of them having to pay that fine has now trickled down or is trickling down to the content creators. So, yes, it is a big thing about, you know, we, us as content creators, you guys, we have to, we have to tell YouTube if our content is geared for children or not. You could do it at the channel level or you could do it at the video level. You have to go in by January and make and um, basically make that assumption, you know. Um, and if you do not, and you put videos out and it's possibly geared for children, and when I say geared for children, y'all, they're even talking about videos that children are in the videos they're really really going for family channels right if you have a channel and you put your children on your channel and maybe you do pranks and stuff like that to where kids will possibly look at that yeah they're going for those channels as well y'all it's 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 very serious and like i said us as content creators across the board everybody is suffering from it from it right now if you notice some of your bigger YouTubers, they're not really putting out content like they used to because what's what I, I'm gonna speak for my my situation. I've noticed you guys for the past week, videos that I have put out have been getting demonetized because YouTube has a new system that they have put in place. When you upload a video, it goes through like this analyzing process um, computer that they have. And it's really scrutinizing each and everything in the video down to the type of words and phrases that you use in your video. Certain keywords will trigger the computer to demonetize your video until someone can take a closer look, do a manual review at your content. Well, we do know there are millions of channels on YouTube well, there's not millions of people doing these manuals reviews. So it's taking longer for someone to get to your video to really analyze your video to make sure it's not geared for children. So while, you, while your videos are being uploaded and, 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 and are visible for your subscribers and viewers to see, you're not getting paid for them. They're even, they're even very, being more selective on the type of advertisements that they put on your videos. Like, it's kind of like they're hand-picking what type of advertisement should be placed on your video. And, and as you know, that's how YouTubers get paid, based off the advertisement. So, for the past, I would say a week, all my videos have been getting demonetized. So, it's kind of like I'm not even getting paid for them. You get, a, you get some money, but it's nowhere near because you're not getting the bigger advertisements on your videos, right? So I'm gonna tell y'all like this, and this is, I'm keeping it 100. Your girl don't work for free. And YouTube is clearly a job, okay? It's, it's hard, because as you know, what you go through on YouTube, you go through a lot of criticism, constructive of not, you, you deal with a lot. You deal with the comment sections. You you could deal with, you know, mean, hateful things being said to you in the comments about you or the type of content you have. Like, although it's people's opinions, but, I mean, they, I mean, they mean, okay? So, you're going through that in the comment section. And, y'all, I'm telling you right now, I, you know, I, I like doing YouTube. I really do. I like I love putting out my videos and listen, reading my comments and seeing <clears throat> that my video is helping people. I, I I get that and I love that, right? I love the engagement of YouTube. Um, but y'all, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense for me, okay? And I can't work for free, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. Like I get YouTube, got all this going on, but at the end of the day, YouTube or Google is a big corporation. 
you know, they can, they had the hundred thousand, hundred and sixty thousand dollars to pay, you know. Um, yeah, your girl don't. Um, so y'all, look, I'm gonna tell you this. I would appreciate if you know, in my description box, there's um. My cash app information, my PayPal information, when I go live, there's options where you can super chat. If you guys don't mind giving a donation to help the channel, because like I said, y'all, I don't know what's getting ready to happen. Like, these changes are happening, and they're moving kind of fast with the changes, because everything has to be finalized by January 1. And, um... You know, it affects me when I put out a video and I don't get paid for the video. Yeah, that, you know, I can't, I'm not, y'all, look, any and every, anybody should be able to understand this. You know, YouTube for me is a business. And if my business, if I'm not making money off my business, I can't run my business. It's just that simple, y'all. You know, it, it, you know, although I vlog on my phone because I'm, you know, saving my money to get a nice camera. And I've been doing that for a while. But, of course, I got other things that takes precedence like, you know, my, my mortgage, my lights, gas, well, you know, stuff. So, I've been doing that kind of in a snail's pace. But I've, I've been putting away a little money every now. Every now and then, I'd be putting away a little cash so I could save up to give me a really nice camera. I'm kind of waiting around for the Black Friday sales to see if I can catch a really nice one for, you know, a low price. Um, But, y'all, you know, I got internet bill. I got to, you know, I got to pay the cell phone bill. I have to pay for my, you know, it's a lot of stuff I have to pay for. And I use my YouTube money to do that. Well, baby, if I ain't getting it, yeah, I, it, it doesn't get done. And although I love putting out these videos, and I really do, y'all, I'm not just saying that. I do like putting out my videos. It's fun to me. And I have met some really nice people since I've been on YouTube. Um, Even in the comment section. Although I don't know you guys personally, but to me, I feel like we have built a rapport with each other. Y'all, your girl can't do it. And I'm not getting compensated for it. Like, it, that makes no sense. It's just like your job. If you go to work today and they tell you, look, we can't pay you for a month, you what you going to do? You going to find you another job. Period. Although YouTube is not my full-time income, but it's a supplemental income for me. And I want to keep getting my supplemental income. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Like I said, they're making a lot of changes. And content creators are getting affected severely behind it until they finalize everything they need to finalize and figure out what's going to work for them so i don't know y'all so like i said in my description box my cash app my paypal my uh if i go live the super chat thing those are called donations y'all those are to help the content creator and if again i'm not asking for any body to do what they can't do if you feel compelled in your heart to donate to the channel thank you if you feel like you can't then you can't I, i'm not going to think about you any different because look i'm not counting anybody's pockets but i'm just letting y'all know that you know is youtube is going through something and it's affecting content creators it's affecting me and i can't again i can't work for free okay all right, you guys, let me get on off of here because I'm about to pull up at my mama's house and I'll try to come back later on today. There is a couple things I wanted to talk about with you guys. I just need to get my head together, my thoughts together. <clears throat> I need to let this medicine kick in a little more. And I will see y'all in the next video. Remember y'all, sub what you love. Bye-bye.